Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about a new React 18 feature called automatic batching. So on my screen, I have the same tic-tac-toe game that I showed in the previous upgrade video that I have on my channel. And it's basically been put back to version 16.13.1 again. So this is prior to upgrading to version 18, right, which is the current release. Now, at the moment, what I have is a simple console log inside of my game component here. And for every click of a cell, we update six different pieces of state, right? So we've got six state definitions up here. And then on every click, I have those same six pieces of state get updated, right? So for example, if I click on this, you can see it sets an X, so then it sets the cell value, it changes the turn. So if I click again, you go O, then it'll check if it's game over or not based on the result of the calculation and all that stuff. Anyway, basically there's six pieces of things going on here that need to be updated based on what you click on, okay? Now, this works perfectly well. It only creates one rendering of the component each time I click on something, like so, right? And that's because it batches up all these sets into one unique state transaction, right? Or batch, as they call it, right? So they batch all up all these changes, and then once they've updated those pieces of state, then they re-render the component, okay? Now, this is perfect. This is what we want for performance reasons, but there was a problem with this, and that is it didn't always work in every scenario. And the most important place it didn't work is when you did asynchronous stuff, like, say, a set timeout, all right? So if I wrap this in a set timeout call, like so, and then I take all these here, and I place them inside there, and I close it off, and say, let's delay it by 100 milliseconds. If I now look down here, you'll see the one log for rendering game component. But now if I click on a cell, you're going to see six individual re-renders of the game component. One for every single set method that's called here. So whenever you use asynchronous, instead of it batching all these sets together, like it did when we did the click event, it actually does one at a time and re-renders the component, which is not ideal. So let's see how that's fixed in version 18. So here's the same app. As you can see, now I've upgraded it to version 18 of React. Now, if you want to know how to upgrade to React 18, I have that in a separate video here on my channel. But it's been upgraded to 18. Now let's see, based on the same code that we just executed, if I click on the cell now, there you go. Now we only have one single render of the component. So the concept of this automatic batching is to take into consideration that no matter where you are in your code now or how your setters are executed, they will now be always automatically batched and updating the state in one single transaction, so to speak, so that only one single render happens on your component. And that pretty much is all there is to it. That is automatic batching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all next time.